All right, welcome back to another video. Today I'm in my 2008 Crown Victoria Police Interceptor. And what I'm gonna be talking about today is how easy it is to add keyless entry to your P71 or P7B Crown Vic. So this only applies to 2008 through 2011 Crown Vics. If you have a 2006 or 2007, it will require that you replace the driver's door module starting in 2008. They all had the same components the antenna needed. They just were disabled from the factory. So I'm using four scan and I'm using my BB Fly Elm 327 converter here. So what you'll do is we'll go ahead and put our key in the ignition, turn it to run. We will let four scan connect to the vehicle, which I've already done. Okay, we're going to run down here to this one here, configuration and programming. We want the driver's door module as built format. I'm gonna go ahead and execute that. It's gonna give you a warning. Okay, it's reading the blocks. So the one we wanna focus on is A08. Now I've already done this, but I will tell you that my original value for this first little block right here was A815. So that is in a hex format. We need to convert it to a binary format. So you go to Google, search your hex to binary converter. So enter A815. I'm going to click convert. And it will spit out this binary value. Okay, so we, this is what we need to edit. So the position we're looking for is the eighth position needs to be a one. So we count over one zero, one zero, one zero, zero, zero. So we need to change this zero to a one. And then we can need to convert this back to hex. So we will copy that. And we'll go over to our binary to hex converter. And we will paste that. Hit convert. And it spits out our new value, A915. So we'll go back to Forescan. Change this to A915. And then we're going to hit right to save it to the ECU. It will give you a warning that has an invalid checksum. That is okay. Go ahead and hit okay. It will tell you to cycle ignition off and then back on. And once the service procedure is done, you can go ahead and stop that. We can get out of Forescan. We're done with that. You know, go ahead and get out of here. Okay, so to program your key, we're going to need, or your fob, we'll turn the key forward eight times. And if we were successful, we'll hear the door lock cycle. So let's try it out here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, now just go ahead and hit the lock button on your remote. You'll hear the lock cycle to confirm. We're going to shut it down. Okay. All right, so we'll get out. We'll try it. Everything worked. Two stage locking. Okay, now the only thing that will not work is your trunk release. It does cycle in the driver's door module. You will hear it click, but it is set on the police car to only allow it to pop the trunk when it's running. There is a simple jumper procedure you can do. All right, so this step's optional. If you want the trunk pop to work with the key fob, I'm gonna start by removing the door panel here. There's two seven millimeter bolts at the bottom. So once we get those out, you remove this little black plastic piece. And there's another screw in here that needs to come out. Okay, and then the door will pry off and lift up and out so carefully pry this out. You can see that other seven millimeter 
bolt that needs to come out to get the door panel off. All right, so once you get the bolts out, the one that's in the door handles. It's a star shape. Torx bit. I'll lift up the door. The panel comes off here. And here's our driver's door module, which is what we want to get at. You can see there is, these are the factory trunk pop. Obviously buttons right here, which only work when the vehicle's running. All right, so at our driver's door module, we've disconnected this connector right here. And if we pull it down, you'll see right here in the top right where there's no wire right here. That is the pin that we need to jumper to our purple wire, which is right here. The easiest way to do this is to go to a junkyard and just cut this connector off here and pull that single pin out. If you use a screwdriver, this red cover comes off and you'll see we don't even have the pin in there. So we need to add the wire and that pin and then jumper that to our purple wire here and that will allow us to pop the trunk. All right, so like I said, you can go to a junkyard. Uh, you can deep pin that harness. I just went through, I always keep a bunch of electronic stuff just for situations like this. I went through some old stereo harnesses and found a pin that fit it wasn't a perfect fit, but I was able to get it in there and then push this back into place. And that's held in there, okay? So, I put a female and a male spade terminal on this jumper wire. That way, if I need to take this door panel off for any reason, uh, you know, if I didn't do that, this would be kind of hanging out unless I remove that clip down there. So, um, I used one of these quick tap connects. It's not really the best way to do this. It's better to, you know, split the wire, solder that in. But I just wanted to make sure that this worked first before I did that. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in here. All right, so I got it plugged in. Got everything put back together. Uh, now it's time to give it a shot. So here's our remote. Go ahead and hit our trunk pop button. All right, so it's successful by tying in that one wire to the purple wire. It gives us our trunk pop and makes it just like, you know, a regular Crown Vic would be from the factory. So everything works. As you can see, it's all there on your 2008 to 2011 Crown Vic police car, police interceptor. It is set up with the correct driver's door module to work with keyless entry from the factory. There's nothing you have to add just a little bit of programming with a free program and you need the programming cable. You need obviously a key fob. I actually had this left over from another Ford vehicle I used to own, so I didn't even have to buy anything. But I'll leave in the description for the video below uh, a list of parts that you'll need. So if you don't have a programmer that works with Forescan, I'll go ahead and put a link to that on Amazon. I'll put a link to the key fob and also put a link to where you can download the Forescan program. You will need a extended license, which you can also get for free. I'll have links to all that below. So if the video was helpful, be sure to like it. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And until next time, we'll see you later.